Good morning and welcome back to the channel. Today we're down here at Glenelg in South Australia with an awesome boat to go over. This is a Norfolk Star built vessel for commercial use. Um, predominantly it was designed for sea rescue and crew transfer off shipping. So let's uh, jump aboard. We've already been out this morning as you can see by some of this footage, but let's jump on and have a look around. Um, this is it right behind me. So as you can see, our dive door slash that entrance door is already open for us to step aboard. We'll have a good walk around the outside in a minute. So that's easily closed. Fully foam filled, so this is a positive flotation vessel from my understanding. You can basically swamp this thing, fill it with water and she's still going to float. Lots of grab bars all around the place, obviously for safety, for survey. Everything's clearly labelled. Under here, there's, there's two ways to access the engine. Volvo Penta 260 horsepower. The whole hatch lifts up um, to have a good look at the the whole setup. We'll open this up later and have a look. Or you've just got the um, top entrance. Nice big tow point, solid tow point there. Aft boarding. This is a stern drive vessel. So a good size workable cockpit. That's sort of not um, where the major purpose of this boat is. So if we look forward, you can look how wide these side decks are so again railing everywhere you jump up and you'll notice there's no bow rails now this is obviously so people can get on and off the side of the front of the vessel um, without any tripping hazard railing along the roof running all the way to the bow for your clip-on harness so you can see that runs all the way down here onto your bow grab rails so a nice big flat non-slip deck and again no bow rails so when you put the nose of the boat up or the the forward quarter of the boat up to the ship to hold it there you're stepping onto a wide open deck with plenty of area to grab onto and clip onto your harness lots of lighting around the place absolute necessity nice big cabin top here radar all of your aerials for um, all of your VHF, your 27 meg radios, all, all of your marine radios that are on board with CMSI and <coughs> FLIR camera. So this is a thermal uh, vision camera for those of you who don't know, but the FLIR cameras are absolutely uh, fantastic. On this little mast here with um, nav lights and things like that. So it's a very purpose built boat. Obviously it can do all sorts of applications, but that was the initial design so I'm jumping back down in the cockpit you can see here seating storage the safety cell storage again these boats I've done a few of these videos you can have a look through and have a look at various Nordic stars or head to their website I'll put a link in the description below that Nordic star boats they build a lot of sea rescue police um, you know, special service craft, um, absolutely stunning build quality. Stepping inside, you can see these, they're all bolstered seats. So when doing crew transfers, you want to make sure that everyone is kept safe and somewhat comfortable. Now these boats operate in pr you know, pretty much all weather when required. Come on, life jackets, all just out and about. So you've got four bolted seats inside, padded roof lining, moving forward, electronic helm, steering, zip wake system, all of your control panel uh, for various things around the boat here. And these are all of your uh, radios. So we're running Fruno uh, twin 12 inch screens by the look of it. Reversing camera. Well, reversing camera, call it the camera for the aft deck so you can see what's going on out there um, from the helm quite easily. Um, vessel log books, full service history. So remember, this is a 2015 built Nautic Star, which is in marvellous condition considering it's been in commercial use. You can see here, hours are reading 2,198, but this was actually rebuilt, a complete Alpha rebuild of Bravo, this engine. Foxtrot 262. There you go. Alpha, that's Bravo, Foxtrot 262. Um, this was rebuilt 
sort of 20, I think it was 2020, 2021, somewhere around there, but we've got the paperwork on that, so the engine's quite fresh. So these will be various radios, and some of these radios are patched directly into Sea Rescue, because this vessel was used as part of the Sea Rescue Squadron, uh, I believe. And little cabin down below, generally for gear storage, but obviously you can have people lying here, um, sleeping here if need be. But plenty of gear storage down below, so that's a, a really usable space. But there's a lot of features about this boat that we're not going to be able to get through in the video. This is just a general look, a general walkthrough, general look at the condition, etc. Um, all of the details will be able to be found online as far as the, the build, the survey, um, you know, all of those bits and pieces, those questions that you're going to be looking answers for based on the fact that this is a pretty special um, surveyed craft. So there we have it. We'll um, open this up and have a quick look at the engine. So you just remove the aft grab rail. You just pop these off here. And there we go. So this is for your initial start up and checks this access. So you've got access to your strainers, oil filters, fresh water flush installed there so you can run your salt away or you know, anti-salt product, whatever it might be. So you have a D4 260, fully rebuilt. And this whole engine hatch here does come up via these locks down here. But no need for that today, we're just having a general look. And I'll get a, a bit of a walk around the whole boat once it's on the air dock so we can have a look at the hull. So we're up out of the water, have a bit of a look at this hull, as you can see, Nordic Stars, plumb bow. Now I've dealt with a lot of these in the past and the ride of these boats is absolutely stunning. They're capable of maintaining very high speeds through very rough conditions and, and maintaining those speeds quite safely. I'll throw a couple of links in the um, description below about some of the other ones of these that we've done so you can have a look at a few others that's good we got it kept out of the water And the leg was fully rebuilt as well, wasn't it? Yeah. 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 We'll give you the information and all that. Yep, fantastic. So there you have it, 2015 Nautic Star built commercial vessel. Crew transfer, equipment transfer, tow sea rescue sort of its specific needs absolutely fantastic thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time